Okay, so let's get to it. So you got your wig and it's sliding off your head, honey. I'm here to help you fix it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need some alcohol. This is 70%. I just pick up whatever alcohol um, I see at the store. So don't have to be 70% if you don't want it to be. Okay, then you're gonna need whatever glue you use. I love this glue. This is the glue I get, local bee supply. Um, and then some kind of applicator to apply the glue. This wig came with this, so this is like a little spatula thing. So I'm gonna use that. Um, so this is just the damage so far. I'm gonna show you with the wig. So the wig isn't looking that bad. Lifting up over here and lifting up right here. You know what I'm saying? So first thing first, let's brush the hair. Kind of, ooh lordy, get it together. Cause I have, I've been putting a bonnet. Um, been like kind of curling, not curling it, but like using things to keep the curls in or whatever. Oh, my glasses are falling off. Okay. Cause the hair is really like, this is some really good hair, I will say. But been having the heat on and stuff, and I have like a those UGG comforter, so I'd be sweating at night. Oh Lord, you should always brush from the bottom. Start at the bottom, and then you brush up because the bot the the tangles are at the bottom. And then obviously you know work your way up or whatever, but. I don't know, I kind of want to do a middle part today, but it is so full, it's crazy. Okay, let's stay focused. All right, so kind of want to do a middle, so I feel like, it. okay, it'll be easy. So let's just fix both sides of the head. Now obviously, if you're rushing, if you're being lazy, you don't got to do both sides, but I'm going to do both sides, fix both of them at once. Oh my God, where is my comb? Jeez Louise. Okay. So one of these combs like this, rat tail. You need a rat tail. These metal ones, be very careful when you have a lace, when you have a wig. I honestly wouldn't recommend using one of these because you will poke holes in your lace with a metal metal rat rat tail comb. So I would definitely advise you use a plastic one. But obviously me. That's all I got. So we're going to use this one. Oh, look at that part. Nice and straight. One thing about this wig, it had like a little like bump to it or whatever. So like one side of the wig does not want to lay down, which is very annoying. That's fine. So get the hair. Where are my clips at? I am not prepared. Hold on. I'm to until that's fine. I got one clip. I think I have another one somewhere. Does stuff walk away and have legs? I am so confused. Anyway, whatever. So, I'm going to start with this side. So, what you're going to do, you're going to brush your hair back. Get your clip and clip it. Oh, Lordy, if I can. Now, obviously, you if I was thinking, which I'm not, you could pull it back in the ponytail. But where am I? Let me see. Okay. I like to use things that are loose. Ow! Get your hair and brush it back so you can see where the problem area is. And put it in a ponytail, like a little bun. Like this, don't let it be too crazy. You just wanna pull the hair back cause you don't wanna like get stuff in the way, whatever. Um, doesn't hair have to be parted either cause see my part is like screwed, but it's fine. All right. Okay, I have to get my edges together too. Oh, my life. Okay, this side, like, really is not that bad. It's this front. Look at it, Michelle. You're coming up like a little bit. Okay, so it's really this side right here. So you see that? Like, it's, it's coming up. Okay, so I'm going to use my finger to be. I'm going to get some of this. Pour it on my finger. And then we gonna 
get in there. So what you're doing is you're breaking away the glue from your hair. Obviously the cap's right there, but it broke away. It's fine. So literally, we need to pull it like right, it needs to be right over here, literally. So take my glasses off and do that. So now get you a bobby pin if you have one. Dollar store. Get you a bobby pin. And you're gonna flick it up like this and pin it. Pin it out the way, honey. This is the real deal with having wigs. Get your glue. You wanna make sure you're not gluing it on your damn thing. Hold on. Restart, restart. Get the, you're gonna see where do you, where is it gonna be laying at? It's gonna be laying right here. So, it's gonna be laying right here. Pull it back, wrap, mm -hmm. pin it with the bobby pin. Grab a glue. Glue, got a little caked on it, that's fine. Is it a little bit? Get the glue. Oh Lord, that was way too much. So I'm gonna blend that in just a moment. I should have a Q-tip somewhere. Grab a clean Q-tip. You're gonna spread that around, literally. Spread that all on the thing because you do not want all that gunk. You do not need that, and it's too much, so I'm gonna take some off and spread a nice thin layer on here. It's kinda even, see, look? It's a nice thin layer, because you do, that was way too much. You do not need that much. And it's gonna be right here, so I'm gonna simply do a little dab dab. This is right in front of my hairline. Gotta move my glasses, so I'm gonna take those off. Can't really see, so I think I know what I'm doing, but. Play a nice little layer. Now you need to wait to dry, so I'm gonna be back when it's clear, and we're gonna do the rest, okay? All right. Yeah, and so now we're back. What our cat pulled back. Um, And it's, yeah, it's clear, honey. So we gonna go ahead and take the bobby pin out. Remove that and go ahead and pat that down, honey. Woo! Oh, yeah, I can feel that. That's pretty strong. Put my glasses back on because we all can't see nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Look, yeah, it's on. I just need to redo my edges. Oh, shoot. Did my edges get. Oh, y'all. Did my edges get caught in that? Oh, my life. No, I don't think they did. No. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. Never mind, the false alarm. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Looks good, feels good. I'm great, okay. Yeah, so like literally it should feel tight. Like it should feel tight. Okay, bad. All right, cool. Now, you're like, okay, my edges. Let's go ahead and redo that. I like to use mousse, so I got this. Use whatever mousse you wanna use. Um. So yeah, get you your edge brush. Like nothing ready. This is nutso. Okay. You're gonna apply it on top of your edges like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And literally, you can use this with your hand, which whatever. And then yeah. use a little thing. This brush a little, let me use this, let me see. Oh yeah, this is softer. I like this. Yeah, you definitely wanna use mousse. The girl, the lady that did my hair, she used mousse, so why would I not use the mousse? Do not use like regular edge control. Like this, don't use regular edge control we use for your own hair for your wig. Cause it's gonna like start getting like cakey. The lace is gonna get cakey, it's gonna get dirtier faster, and it's not gonna have that melted look because it's all that product built up. So do not use regular edge uh, control for that, okay? Okay. Let's see. All right. 
right. Okay, boom, bam. I'm gonna take this out. My ponytail has fallen out. It's just okay. So let me see what the other side looking like real quick. I kind of wanna repart my hair. Do, 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 do. And you don't have to put a band on if you don't want to. Um, because you right now we're just re like applying the wig on because it slipped off so you don't have to put a band on if you don't want to it's not really necessary so let me just get my part ready and make sure it looks good and it says it looks way better okay so now we're going to do the other side the other side really wasn't that bad but i will go ahead and just throw my clip on there let me redo my edges first y'all can see what I'm doing and then you will get like the comb side and that's how you get it like that or you would clean your applicator off real quick get that alcohol or that applicator rub it on my towel real quick I don't want it sticky Oh Lord, hold on. Hold on, y'all. It's dirty still. Okay. Use that applicator to get that like that. And if you need to pop more mousse, you can. Pop a little, little dab more. Get your brush. Okay, I don't, okay, I need to space that out. Did not like how I did that. So get the brush. I'm trying to like do this in both mirrors. There we go. Right tail is fine too. Use the end of that. Edges are like the hardest part. I feel like that's just me though. Okay, right, that looks good. Um, I feel like I really wasn't lip. Yeah, it's not really something. That was my edges. Oh, um, I got my sideburn edges. I can never get these right. Like seriously. So we gonna try. You get them. That mousse is what's going to loosen up that hair and make it movable and moldable for you. She had it like curled up like that a little bit. It was more curled up. Let me see if I can get it like that. I don't know if I can. She had it like curled up in like a little ball. It's like, okay. I don't know how you do that, but we're going to just do a little one, two. Because I don't want to cut these off, honestly. Because I always end up cutting them off. Hold it down a little bit. Oh, a little swirl, period, whatever. It's gonna be a little part anyway. Okay, hair looks good. Let's repart it real quick. Oh, that's not a good middle. Line it up. There we go. Lordy, that middle part looks jank. What the heck? Uh-uh. My nose. Okay, I'm trying to get it straight. Ugh. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. It's like so crooked. What the heck? Okay, that's looking better. Alright, we got it. Okay, so this part boom bop bam and then this part i need to like lay down and i think i may need to use some mousse to lay it down ow my ear oh then do the edge on this side
like literally ah! it's looking good it's looking good okay so now we're gonna like style her for my lazy girlies like me um like say you go to the salon they like curl your hair or even if they straighten it like think i want some body to it i got one of these i'll show like a picture on the screen of what like this is but i think i got this from sheen i want to say i did and it came with this and it came with um this clamp and like two little like um uh, hair tie things on the ends they were pink and basically you like put this in the middle of your head you grab this put this in the middle of your head like this so like it'll stay and you like wrap your hair around it or whatever i have a video of me doing that um in the original wig review that i did that is it is in that video so um go back and look at that so this is how like you get these curls like it's given body like look at the body is given literally obviously like it's a little bit older or whatever so and i like have my bonnet on so it's not as neat but what i would say is that this hair was bone straight and i put that on my head the next day in my bonnet and literally it's given me some body ever since today obviously we're just revamping the wig after getting it installed so i'm gonna use my curling arms today i don't feel like being that lazy so just get her done um i've had the hair in it's been officially a week officially a week um the hair's been really good honestly um it's super full it's four than i what i think it was going to be um i believe when i ordered it i it did not give me an option i think to choose the density if i'm lying i will put it on the screen that i'm lying but i don't i really don't think it gave me the option to choose a density um so for it to be uh, it was like 190 something dollars this is this is like like the basic bust down wig that you need in your life it's like every girl needs this in her in her in her wig um inventory literally for it to be 198 this good of a quality of a wig i would get this over and over again especially when like some hairstylists like hey i don't you know reinstall old wigs or whatever this is a wig you can keep buying for 198 are you serious like what and people are like oh and, if, and even if you think that's expensive i'm not judging they do have um I think you can you can still use like a firm and stuff like that. I paid one ninety eight straight because I was like, okay, I can do that. And it's a thirty inch wig, and I love it. And I'm how tall am I? Like five three? I don't know. We'll say we'll say five three. We'll say five three. I think I'm five two. I think I'm five two. And it comes to my waist, and I love it literally it's that girl it's super soft and the thing is i've been putting products in it so when i first got it um in the original install video she like obviously put hairspray in my hair um and the hair doesn't feel like ucky and like way down if you know you know it feels it still feels good it still feels good and i'm not doing these curls in any way or in order i'm just literally curling it because i'm gonna brush it out um and it's super thick um obviously like you do get tangles in it but it's not like in the nape area where it's like a big ball of tangles it's just tangles because it's a lot of it's a lot of freaking hair and um yeah i mean it's a lot of hair like if, if we're gonna be honest if you have a wig that's gonna tangle sometimes you're sitting down you're laying down like the hair is gonna get tangled if you like when you're brushing against like the back of your car like you know your car like the seat of your car and your bed on your pillow whatever it's gonna like not get tangled but it's gonna kind of you know you're gonna have to brush it out like it's gonna get fuzzy and frizzy and stuff um so yeah this hair it is a little bit on the frizzy side but i did get it wet a little bit because i did get caught in the rain one day but it's given it's given what it needs to give and it's, it's, she's not going to embarrass you. Like, you're not going to go out the house, catch herself in the bathroom, like, what the heck happened to my hair? She, no, she, she gonna, she's going to act right. This is the first time me curling it. But, like I said, she did put heat on it when she straightened it. And it gave what it needed to give. So, boom, bop, bam. 
probably will shut up now or I may keep talking and I'll just fast forward the video and you can just watch. Okay, we're done curling it. These are the curls for the girls. Obviously this part you can see like it's like more like a volume up here. So I got my little um, hot comb, plug in one. This is the kind I have. And it's on, it's about to be on 350, but this don't take long to heat up at all. And with these, be careful because you can burn your lace with these, burn a hole in these. Um, so well, you want to make sure your wig is completely detangled because it's a comb, so it's going to get caught in any tangles and knots you have in your head. Keep that in mind. Two, um, keep this off the direct like lace part, put this as close obviously to the root of the hair to get it laid and slayed like this side. But be careful because, like I said, you don't want to burn a hole in your um in your wig due to the heat because you that can definitely happen like be de be careful I want to say that mess up my um I'm just kind of did Yeah, yeah, buddy. Get that up in there. Oh, lordy. That's freaking hot. Okay, let's get these curls, like, brushed down now. I may brush them out. may just do it with my hands. But I kind of want it to see what's going on. Oh, yes. Look at... Girl, look at that... <laughs> Call me Slay by B. What are you talking about? Deposits are ready. Come on. Booking site available. Oh, this hair all in my face and that's about to irritate me. What the freak? Oh my God, having glasses. No joke. Okay. Oh my gosh, that gave me, I love big hair. Oh, that just gave me everything I needed. Look at, oh my God. Oh my goodness. That The one thing about a hair, if I can curl it and brush it out and it gives me this volume, girl, that's why a black bust down will never let you down, honey. I kind of like the volume. Kind of might, I may just try to get this side to have more volume. I don't know because right now it's not laying down how I want to. And honestly, it's kind of going to irritate me. But I think we did good, y'all. I think we did good. Compared to the beginning, probably have to show like the before and after. The hair is giving what it needs to give. Like literally, ow, I just hit myself. That hurt. Look how full it is. Look how thick it is. Even to the ends. Honey, go get this hair. Go get the hair. And then tag me, send me videos so I can watch and like and subscribe, literally. What are you, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. 
put it in my sink. My sink has water, 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 water in it. Oh my gosh, literally, it's giving what it needs to give, honey. It really is. Comb these ends out. And I love like a messy, like blown out look. Yes, I'm loving her. She looks so good. So good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she, she did that. I did that, honey. Okay. Mm. To tease this up just a little bit. So it can be like the same like little. Girl, that's what the girlies, the other girlies be doing. If you know, you know. No shade, no tea. Okay. It's kind of like, mm. but yeah. I'm loving it. Thank you for watching. Have any questions? Let me know. Everything I use will be listed down below or in the video. I love you and so does God. You have a blessed day. Bye.